Taking notes should be simple, powerful, and most importantly, intuitive. Whether you're a student, professional, a planner, or just someone who loves jotting down ideas, finding the right app can make all the difference. Today, we're diving into NoteWise, an app that's not only packed with features, but also incredibly affordable. From its seamless design to productivity boosting tools, this app offers a lot without breaking the bank. NoteWise is partnering with me on today's video, but all thoughts are my own. I've covered a number of different note-taking apps on iPad, so let's see if it lives up to the hype. Now first, let's talk about pricing. NoteWise offers a variety of options depending on your needs. You can try NoteWise for free. That lets you create up to 10 notes, which is great for seeing if the app is a good fit for you and how you like to take notes. From there, there is NoteWise Cloud and NoteWise Unlimited. If you're all in, the unlimited option gives you access to all the premium features and unlimited notes with a one-time payment. It's a solid choice if you're planning to use NoteWise for the long haul and want to save on subscription costs, making it extremely cost-effective compared to other note-taking apps on the market that are purely subscription-based. Now, with that in mind, NoteWise Cloud is based on a subscription model. Pricing differs depending on the amount of cloud storage space, and there are additional savings between the monthly and annual plans. Subscriptions begin at just $2.49 per month for one gigabyte of storage with options of up to $9.99 per month for 100 gigabytes on the monthly plan. And with NoteWise Cloud, you can tap into the ability to sync between multiple devices across different platforms. Think iOS and Android, real-time collaboration for working together with others on Notes, and then the convenience of using one account on multiple devices. Overall, NoteWise provides flexible pricing to suit different users, from casual note takers to power users, all while staying really budget friendly. Whether you go with unlimited or cloud, will really just come down to the devices that you want to use, how you take your notes, and whether those notes need to be shared or worked on with others. Okay, so here is the main interface of NoteWise. Remember, with NoteWise Unlimited, I can sync between Apple devices using iCloud, but if I wanted to sync between my iPad and an Android device, NoteWise Cloud would allow me to do that. With NoteWise Cloud, I can also view notes on my browsers from any device by using the NoteWise Cloud website. And if I wanted, I can have anyone view a note in the browser by sharing the note with a public link. This can be great for study groups or exam reviews for friends. We did something like this for one of my classes in college, and it was so helpful to check out what others got out of a lecture that I might've missed. Another thing that was helpful for studying and reviewing information was the ability to collaborate on notes. Being able to collaborate in real time on working through problems or setting up a group project in notes is achievable with NoteWise Cloud, and is not something you see in other note-taking apps. The home button shows all of your notes, notebooks, and files. Collaborative notes live under the user icon over here on the side. The settings icon will allow you to make further customization for your NoteWise app, like whether you wanna to go to light or dark mode, the naming structure of your notes, and positions of the tool and scroll bar. From the main interface, you can search text across your notes or textbooks or within a specific note to find exactly what you need. You can access tags here from the side if you set any. These can be great for creating tags for each class or specific actions that you might need to take like studying, review the type of file it is, review notes, class slides, things like that, or other parameters you might use to filter the notes and files in the app. What I love about this is the ability to create custom colors for these tags, which is something I don't often see in note-taking apps. You can also reorder them. You can use the favorite feature for the same purpose of organizing your notes as well. If you're a big folders person like me, then you'll love the folder setup in NoteWise because you can customize the color of the folders too. I love this so much. It's a small thing, but again, I don't really see this in other note-taking apps. You know, the ability to actually set your own custom colors. You can create a new folder by tapping this plus icon in the bottom right corner and clicking create folder. This way you can create folders and sort and move your notes this way too. Also under the plus icon is the ability to import a PDF, great for adding in lecture slides, presentations, or digital textbooks. You can also import images, note-wise specific files, and scan documents. If you wanna create a new note from scratch, all you have to do is press the new note button to quickly jump into note taking. Inside my note, I can tap on the title to rename it, favorite it, or categorize it. 
If I want to change my paper template, I can tap three dots in the top right corner and come down to change template and then make my customizations here. There's the ability to choose from preset size, but what I really like is the ability to set specific dimensions of my paper because I like my paper to take up as much of my screen as possible, which isn't a standard paper size already. The star of the show of any note-taking app is the pen, right? And in Notewise, it's incredible. I've used and reviewed a ton of note-taking apps over the years on this channel, and my favorite app, as far as how it feels to write within the app with their pen tool, the fluidity of the writing, the low latency, it's actually always been Notability. I found the writing tool to be incredible until I used the pen in Notewise. It feels so incredibly smooth and fluid, and it feels like the second I write on the screen, the writing is keeping up with me. And I don't feel like I have to press very hard to get it to respond. It's just amazing. After taking notes in Notewise, I noticed that my handwriting looked a lot better compared to other note-taking apps on iPad. And I've been taking notes on iPad for around six years now. A lot of it is probably just the fact that writing just feels so fluid and responsive in Notewise. But Notewise's unique drawing and writing algorithm actually enhances the appearance of handwriting. It's very, very subtle. It's still your handwriting, but you can catch glimpses here and there of the engine hard at work, making it feel that much neater. There's a fountain pen, ball pen, and brush pen to choose from. And of course you can customize the thickness of your strokes. But what I really love about this is the ability to increase or decrease the stabilization of your strokes and then adjusting the pressure sensitivity if you select the fountain or the brush pen. Increasing the stabilization can help with drawing smooth and stable curves and other drawings, or just provide you with more stability while you're writing. You can also change the line type of your stroke and the borders of shapes, which offers a lot of customization when taking notes. Under the pen tool, there are two further settings that you can toggle on or off for notes, holding to draw shapes and scribbling. After drawing a shape, hold your pencil longer on the screen for it to auto-perfect the shape. Once Notewise recognizes the shape, you can adjust it at specific angles. Notewise supports circles, squares, rectangles, stars, ellipses, arrows, curves, diamonds, and triangles. And then there's scribble to erase. It's honestly still a bad habit of mine to just scribble stuff out when I'm writing on my iPad versus just hitting undo or using the eraser. So this is a nice feature for me to have especially. And if you're still in the same boat with me, stuck in your bad habits with paper writing, you'll love scribble to erase. Speaking of paper writing, be glad you never had to draw more advanced shapes and graphs if you do take digital notes and you use Notewise because with the shapes tool, you can tap into a new realm of preciseness or perfectionism. After drawing a shape, it will automatically enter anchor point editing, which allows you to further customize the phase of trigonometric functions or the height of a cylinder, for example. You can also customize the shape itself by setting the border width and color, the fill color, the opacity of each, and the line type. Depending on the shape, you can also adjust the number of axes, the start and end type of lines, and the number of corners of your shape. This is just laid out so nicely. It's much easier to use and much more feature rich than other note taking apps that I've tried when it comes to drawing and building out shapes and graphs. It's just incredible for students. I love it. While there are some unique features of Notewise, there is a sense of familiarity with using it even if you're new to note taking with this app, but not necessarily new to iPad. For instance, you'll long press on the screen to bring up the contextual menu, which will change depending on the tool that you're using. You can double tap with one finger to zoom in and out on your page. I can even lock my page to that zoom level too, which is pretty cool. If you want to undo, you'll double tap with two fingers and double tap with three to redo. And if you wanna customize this, you can do that under the Apple Pencil and finger settings within the app. All right, so back to note taking. Notewise obviously includes a highlighter and an eraser tool. The highlighter is pretty sweet because you can choose whether you like it to always draw a straight line, only when you hold or never. I also like that you can adjust the opacity of the highlighter to get a look that you like while you're taking notes or while you're digital planning. The eraser is pretty straightforward. You can toggle on or off the ability to erase entire objects. With it toggled off, you'll have a partial erase, which is precise. You can also choose whether to erase locked objects or things like highlighter, text, images, shapes, or pen marks in handwriting. 
Next to the eraser is the lasso tool and it's probably one of the best that I've used in a note taking app. Under the lasso tool, you can choose between whether you want to use freeform or rectangular lasso, which ultimately comes down to personal preference. But with the lasso tool, I can toggle on and off whether I'd like to select a locked object. So if I draw, write, type something, maybe insert a diagram or something that I need to label or annotate, I can use the lasso and tap this lock icon to actually lock it into place. An incredible feature for note taking, but also for digital planning. The digital planning community is big on writing on digital stickers and other elements, and it can be a hassle to do so because popular note taking apps in the community do not have a lock feature yet. So I'm a huge fan of this in NoteWise. Snap to Align is another customizable feature with Lasso, and this is gonna be huge with the perfectionist or honestly, any note taker that needs to have things lined up and precise. With this toggled on, NoteWise will actually help you align parts of your notes by snapping it into alignment. You can also have it snap at different rotation angles as well. You can use the lasso to take a screenshot. What's really game changing about this feature, however, is that I have the ability to screenshot parts of my notes or my textbooks or my lecture slides, even my digital planner and capture only the content. So like the diagram, the drawing, the text, so if I deselect include background, it actually removes the background of my page template or my PDF. Not only do I see this being really awesome for note takers when you're trying to grab diagrams and tables from a textbook or a presentation slide, but I know the digital planning community would love this feature as well. The ability to copy something from your digital planner without grabbing the background of the page, just super cool. While you can toggle on to quickly take a screenshot with Lasso, you can take a screenshot from the contextual menu as well. With Lasso, you can access additional options like layering items by moving them front or back, flipping them horizontally or vertically, and even duplicating, copying, or pasting. And when you're ready to paste, you just long press on your screen. You can even paste text and images between other apps. From this menu, you can also add to library. The library lives next to text in the toolbar and you can access the content you add across all of your notes. What's particularly cool about this is that you can also see what was recently copied from the clipboard too. To remove something from the library, just press this icon and then the red X to remove it. This can be great for saving and reusing content that you use often in your notes or your digital planner or other files within NoteWise. If you need to add a photo to your notes, you can do that by clicking this icon in the toolbar. What I find particularly awesome about the image tool is the different cropping options. You can go in and manually crop the size, but there's also a circular crop, a freeform crop, and an AI crop for background removal. Like, how cool is that? Next to the image tool is text, which is what I find to be the most limiting feature of NoteWise, simply because it doesn't tap into custom fonts you might already have installed on your iPad, and the fonts that are included are limited. It does have your typical formatting tools like bold, italics, strike through, and the ability to change and set custom colors. But NoteWise's strength is definitely its features for handwriting and drawing. If you're big on text and typing your notes, however, you'll be happy to know that NoteWise does have keyboard shortcut support, which is convenient and intuitive to use. So Command N to create a new note, Command F to find, and Command Z to undo, for example. Like many other note-taking apps, NoteWise has a laser pointer, but perhaps just a bit different, you can actually customize the color, appearance, and even the fade delay of the laser pointer, which can be great for presenting or if you're an educator and working professional. Once you get to the end of a page when taking notes or setting up a new notebook, you can add pages by pulling up, which is fast and convenient. You can also add pages by tapping this plus icon or by tapping the thumbnail icon in the left-hand corner and then tapping the plus icon and new page. From the bottom, you can choose whether you'd like to add a new page before or after the current page or add it as a first or last page. From this menu, you can also insert PDFs or images to your existing notes or from the plus icon in the note taking interface. The thumbnail view of your notes is a great place for organizing and managing the contents of your notes. For instance, you can drag and rearrange your note papers 
They can even be rotated by tapping the down arrow and then rotate left or right. From here, you can also duplicate or delete the page. You can also add the page to an outline. Outline can be used like a table of contents for your notes or large files in Notewise, and you can rename and nest them for further organization. If your PDF file is already outlined, this is something that I like to do in my digital planners, then it will also appear here in outline as well. Bookmark is also another great way of managing your notes in Notewise. Audio recording is an important feature for many students, especially when it can be difficult to write everything down at the time, and you'd benefit from kind of going back and listening back to those recordings later. Notewise does have the ability to record audio. You can record multiple times, rename them, and they'll even autoplay to the next one as you're listening. So now that you've taken all of your notes in Notewise, maybe you're running low on storage space or you're on the free version and don't have access to the sync capabilities, you can actually batch export your notes and back it up on a hard drive or your own cloud storage service. The exported file will be a zip file, which can later be re-imported if needed. Of course, you can export your notes to save for later because why should all of that hard work go to waste even if you've completed the class or graduated? What's great about Notewise is that they're always adding new features as well, like the ruler tool. I'm always so excited to see what Notewise comes out with. So that's a wrap on our look at the Notewise app. It is clear that Notewise has a lot to offer, especially if you're looking for a feature rich yet affordable note taking solution. I am truly so impressed by Notewise. There's a lot of features I love that I don't see often, if at all, in other note taking apps that I've tried or reviewed, or just features that I feel like were done really well compared to other note taking apps. I love how it feels to take notes and draw using Notewise. The shapes tool is killer, especially for STEM students or pro doodlers. And I love how well done and well thought out the lasso tool is. If you found this review and walkthrough helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more content like this. So now I'd love to know what you think of Notewise. Have you tried it out? Would you like to see more of Notewise on the channel? Drop your thoughts in the comments below. I would love to hear what you think. As always, thank you so, so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye.